Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to set up Windows 11 23H2 and 24H2 during the installation process to use a local account instead of being forced to use a Microsoft account. Now, Microsoft are clamping down pretty hard and they want you to use a Microsoft account. But as of today, you can still use this method, which I'm going to show you today. So first off, push Shift plus F10 on the keyboard to open up the command prompt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make some changes. So make sure you're at the regional settings on the page here. Then you can type in this command, net space user, and then space, and then your username that you want to use. In my case, it's going to be Brightech. Then another space, and then type forward slash add. And this will add the user account to uh, your installation. So next, we're going to be doing this one here, which is net space local group. And then we're going to do another space here, then administrators. And then we'll type this one out here. And then we can do space and then the user account, which you want to add to it, which is called Brightech because we just created it. And then space forward slash add. And we're adding that to the administrators local group. Click add. And that's now done. And all we need to do here now is change directory to OOBE, which is your out of box experience. And from here, we can type out this command, which is msoobe dot exe, and then space the and and site, and that is then shutdown dot exe, and then we can do uh, forward slash r to uh, shut down the system. So let's go ahead and do that. You will see something like saying just a moment. This does sometimes hang on this page here a little bit, but be patient. It will then restart and we'll have our account already set up, which is what we've just done on the previous section. It's important to note that you need to do this at the regional settings page during the installation part. So just after the Windows splash screen comes up with that uh, regional settings, do it right there. Push shift F10 and you should then be able to uh, go ahead and do what I showed you here and this should bypass now you can see it's taking a bit of time I'm trying to leave it as long as I can there we go it's now restarted and you will then get this right here you will get the username or password is incorrect I'm going to click OK here you should then see your username that you chose and it should say welcome and it's now going to prepare that and get it all ready for you and you should then see uh, the desktop for the very first time of course, it's going to be a very small one here because I'm a virtual machine and I would need to uh, expand that to full screen mode, which I'll do shortly after it loads up. So once we get there, you can see here now we're going to get a few choices that we can make here. I'm going to go ahead and turn all this stuff off because we don't want to run advertising IDs and stuff like that. Click accept. And there we are. We're at the desktop. It's that simple. So that is the easiest method and it still works uh, for 23 H2. And it also works for 24H2 as well. And I can see here we are now set up with a Brightech account on a local account, which is exactly what a lot of people want. Very simple and easy to set up. Let me just quickly show you here inside the actual uh, computer management section here with the user profiles here. So let's go to the user, uh, local users and groups inside here. And inside here, you should see the account that we set up. And we should see the account inside the administrators group here. There we go. So there we are. That is already disabled, the administrator account. Mine's enabled, which is the Brightech account. So everything should be working perfectly fine here. You can see that's disabled. And we also have the Brightech account, which is enabled. There we go. Anyway, with that said, I think that is going to be about it. That is basically how you can add a local account uh, to the local group on your PC. It's very simple and you, it saves you from having to go through the motions of having to set up a Microsoft account. If you don't want to do that, you can use this method and it works perfectly fine and they haven't blocked it. So it does work. And again, there is a couple of other methods that you can use, which I've made yesterday, which is using uh, the IP config space forward slash release, which is dropping your IP out and basically going ahead and setting up an account that way which is a local account you can use that method as well let me know if you want to string these all together and do a bunch of them in one video so you can just uh, go to that resource 
and keep tabs on which works and which doesn't work. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. Hope you're having a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.